And with every new year comes an opportunity for excitement and adventure. And today we're gonna to take a look at what SpaceX has in store for us for the year 2018. Let's get to it. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, hey guys, how are you doing today? I'm your host, me. So just a couple hours ago, SpaceX took to Reddit and informed their loyal followers what they had in store with NASA for 2018. Before we get to that, however, let's briefly talk about what everybody's been waiting for, the Falcon Heavy launch. After being delayed for months and months and months, Falcon Heavy is finally rolling out the launch pad for its static test here in the next couple days. With the slated launch date of January 15th, the clock is ticking. SpaceX actually recently released video and photos of the Falcon Heavy being rolled out and lifted up into a launch position at Pad 39A, which were stunning to say the least. But the big news that hit just prior to that was the payload that the Falcon Heavy is going to be taking up into space and eventually in orbit around Mars. Elon Musk recently took to the internet and revealed that it was going to be his very own cherry red Tesla Roadster that was going to be fixed atop of this Falcon Heavy rocket. My personal opinion? Genius. Nothing like a big billboard with a red Tesla orbiting around Mars saying infinite mileage on it. <laughs> but let's move on to the update that SpaceX and NASA just released to the public for their plans for 2018. So currently right now, SpaceX has the Dragon capsule in production and testing, which should be completed in the first half of 2018. The crew module that will be used to support the upcoming Demonstration 1 mission has already passed many milestones and is undergoing its final tests and preparations. The Demonstration 1 flight is still slated for 2018. SpaceX's spacesuits are currently still undergoing tests and fittings for the upcoming crewed missions to the International Space Station. I don't know about you, but these spacesuits look really tight and sick. Not tight as in like, yeah, they look tight on the, on the physically on their bodies and they might get sick and throw up on them. But what I mean is they look really tight and boy, do they look sick. Concerning the Falcon 9's Merlin engines and the Dragon's Super Drago engines, much of 2018 will be spent testing and prepping those engines for the upcoming space station mission. In the second quarter of 2018, things will start to look real and really seem to start taking off, literally, as the first rehearsal demo mission to the International Space Station will be launched. This is going to be the predecessor before they actually put two NASA astronauts on board the Dragon to take them to the International Space Station. Then in the third quarter of 2018, a milestone is reached and history is made, as SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule will take the first NASA astronauts to the International Space Station for a Demo 2 flight. Now the Dragon capsule can hold up to six astronauts, but they're only gonna put two on there for the first flight. Why risk six lives instead of just two? Now they already have four NASA astronauts, slated for these flights, but we don't know yet exactly which two are gonna be on this Demo 2 flight. Also throughout the year of 2018, SpaceX is gonna continue its upgrade of Pad 39A. This is the same historic pad that launched the Apollo rockets towards the moon back in the 1960s. SpaceX acquired this pad a couple years ago and they've already launched dozens of rockets from it. Outside the Falcon Heavy launch that's coming up in a couple weeks and the crewed mission to the International Space Station coming up in the third quarter of 2018, the other two events I'm looking forward to the most are the in-flight abort test of the Dragon capsule and the second round of the parachute Tests. They put it on a good show. And of course, following these parachute tests, more recovery training will be done. So there you have it, you guys. It's 2018. Looks like we got a lot of stuff to look forward to this year. If all goes well, it looks like it's going to be a year of first for SpaceX, NASA, and the world. And I'll be covering a lot of this stuff here on this channel as it comes to fruition. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. I do plan on doing a reaction video to the Falcon Heavy launch coming up in a couple weeks. So until that time, thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Stay righteous.